In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate, uh, I don't know, kind of like an hors d'oeuvre feast. Um, uh, it's the feast of uh, St. Juan Diego Cuajatla Oatzin. Um, uh, Juan Diego is his Christian name. The other one that I'm not going to try and say again uh, was his native name. He is um, the, really the saint who brought Christianity uh, and Catholicism to the Americas. Uh, and I refer to him as the hors d'oeuvre because he's the one to whom the, the Blessed Virgin appeared on the road outside Mexico City. Um, and uh, from that, uh, the faith spread. And Saturday, we celebrate her feast, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the Americas, North and South and, and Central. Uh, so this kind of sets us up for, for that as it begins a, a kind of a four-day uh, whirlwind that, that took place uh, back in 1524. And we'll say more about that a little later. Uh, we offer this mass for the repose of the soul of uh, Richard Lyman, um, who's the, with the, uh, just passed away from cancer, the father of uh, two of our St. Francis alumni. And so we, uh, we pray for comfort for them uh, and uh, his family and friends and all those uh, who, will, who will mourn his passing. Well, let's prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacraments. Just take a moment of quiet reflection, look in our daily lives for those moments of grace. Give God thanks for his gifts. Seek forgiveness for our own sins. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners redemption. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose means St. Juan Diego showed the love of the Most Holy Virgin Mary for your people, grant through his intercession that by following the counsels our mother gave at Guadalupe, we may be ever constant in fulfilling your will. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let's be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads them out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O oh Jacob, do you say, and declare, O oh Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. Why does not he does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny? He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as eagles' wings. They will run out and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, O oh, bless the Lord my soul. O oh, bless the Lord my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities, he heals all your ills, he redeems your life from destruction, he crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my 
your sword. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Juan Diego was born in uh, 1474. one of the natives of, of central Mexico, um, but not uh, a member of the Aztec tribe. He was from another uh, tribe. Um, uh, and uh, his own father died when he was just three years old. Uh, and so he was taken in uh, and raised by an uncle. And so uh, his uncle uh, worshiped the, uh, the Aztec gods and so uh, he grew up in the Aztec religion. Um, uh, was a humble man. Was, loved his uncle. Uh, loved him as a as the, as the man as his father. He, he raised him uh, as as a father would raise a son. Um, worked, uh, you know, with the family farm and things outside of uh, what is uh, today Mexico City. Um, uh, and then in 1520, Franciscan showed up. Um, Twelve of them came to that area and started preaching uh, Christianity. And uh, Juan uh, heard this and uh, embraced it and was baptized. That's where he got the names Juan and Diego, uh, Saints John and St. James. Um, became his baptismal patron. And he went by that name uh, from that point on. Uh, uh, was very devout in it. And he would travel uh, back and forth from uh, the family home uh, to the Franciscan mission uh, for things. And uh, on December 9th of 1524, uh, that's what he was doing. He was rushing along the road to get back to the Franciscan mission for, for a celebration of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Um, and uh, as he was climbing uh, Tepeyac Hill, uh, suddenly he heard, uh, as he described it, um, birds, uh, he heard beautiful music that he, he thought was like the most beautiful bird song he had ever heard. And stopped and the next thing he knew there was uh, a beautiful woman uh, kind of clothed in light uh, around him. And uh, she looked uh, like one of them. Uh, uh, she had the features of, uh, of an Aztec or uh, a member of his tribe. Uh, Elizabeth Warren will be happy to hear. She had high cheekbones. Um, uh, and uh, uh, he said, who are you? And she said, uh, I am Mary, uh, your mother, uh, the mother of all of you. Uh, I am the Blessed Virgin. Uh, and uh, I, need you, I, I need you, Juan Diego, uh, to go into town to the bishop and tell him that I would like a church erected on this site, on Tepeyac Hill. Um, uh, There were the ruins of an old Aztec 
temple there, a uh, temple to some uh, Aztec goddess or god. And uh, she wanted a new temple built there, a church dedicated to her. And Juan Diego was an obedient servant. He went in and he, uh, he managed to find Bishop Zumarraga and uh, uh, said, uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to me. And she said she needs a, she wants a church built to her on uh, Tepeyac Hill. And that if you do this, wonderful things will happen here. Um, Juan Diego would then uh, a faithful person. This was not a, a foolish boy coming from him. He's now at least 50 years old. Um, uh, he's uh, uh, had been one of the stalwarts um, of, of the faith, one of the first people baptized to the Franciscan. So he, he gave it some seriousness for this, but he said, um, well, before I can do anything, I need, uh, I need some more proof of this. And he sends him on his way. And so uh, Juan Diego, going back, um, comes upon uh, the Blessed Virgin again on Tepeyac Hill. And he said, the, the bishop says he needs some proof of, of, of this. That, um, he's interested in it, but he needs, he needs to know more. He needs something that will, will prove to him that um, you are who you say you are and that I'm, I'm not mistaken in things. And uh, some of the stories say that Mary kind of smiled about this because she knew all this already. Um, and she says, come back tomorrow to this point, to this site, and I will give you the proof that you need. And so he goes home, and when he gets there, um, he finds that his, his uncle has taken ill and is uh, burning with a high fever. And, and, and this has Juan worried because uh, there's been something going around and uh, neighbors and such have experienced this high fever and, and many of them have died. Uh, when, uh, when their foreheads have gotten this hot. And uh, he continued to get worse through the night and into the morning. And so on uh, the 11th, um, uh, as he was there, he, he just he said, I can't leave him. Um, I have to, uh, they're on attendance. I, I have to care for him on attendance. So he skips his appointment uh, with Our Lady, and uh, as his condition continued to worsen, finally he says, I have to find someone who can help him. And so he goes heading off and kind of skirts around Tepeyac Hill because he's, uh, he's afraid that she'll be angry because he missed, missed the appointment. And as he's going along, she shows up uh, on the new route that he's taking. And, and said, I missed you yesterday. And he said, my uncle was very sick. I couldn't leave him. And, and now I'm afraid he's gonna die and I have to, to find someone to help. And, and she says, am I not here? Am I not your mother? Um, go, uh, I, I need you to go do something. Um, don't worry about your uncle, I will take care of him. I need you to climb Tepeyac Hill and harvest the flowers there. Uh, those will be the sign that uh, you bring to, uh, to the bishop. Well, it's December. Uh, this is high altitude. Uh, flowers are not growing. Flowers are something that grow in the spring, but he gets to the top of Tepeyac Hill and there's all these flowers in full bloom. And so he takes off his cloak and starts harvesting and cutting these things and puts them in there and he starts heading down and he sees her and he shows her what he's done and she says, ah, beautiful. And she starts arranging them in the thing and, and carefully wraps it with his cloak. says, bring these to the bishop. They will, they will suffice. And so he gets to the, uh, uh, back to, to the bishop, bishop's palace and uh, he says, this is what, I, what she has given me to show you. And he opens up his cloak and out spills all these gorgeous flowers. 
but the cloak itself has changed. That now there's this picture of, he says, that's the lady. That's our lady. And the bishop looks at it and he bows down. He says, uh, yes, it is. It is truly the virgin. Um, uh, go back and tell her we will do what, uh, what we ask. And uh, he goes rushing back. Um, and uh, he sees her and she says, go home and care for your uncle. He is fine. And uh, he gets, gets back and his uncle is up and around as well. The fever is gone. And he said, the lady came to see me. And she told me what you're doing. And she said not to worry that um, uh, your work with the bishop has been a success. Um, and she told me that I'm fine. And here I am, I'm fine. Uh, and so they build the, the basilica there. Um, the bishop keeps the cloak. Um, and eventually he starts, uh, he, it's a church built and starts displaying it there. But the, the story of this spread and spread very quickly. And soon, two, 3,000 people a day were presenting themselves to the, uh, to the bishop and the Franciscans seeking baptism. And from that little town in what's a little spot that today in the suburbs of Mexico City, uh, the faith spread north, south, east, and west from there. And uh, uh, the church was founded in the Americas. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest. And my yoke is easy, my burden light. Um, she picked Juan Diego, I think, because he was a humble man. Uh, he was a person of humility um, and had been uh, devoted to, to Our Lady, the Franciscan, uh, had taught him of, of her. Um, that was very devoted to the faith. Um, and I think when she gave him this mess, gave him this mission, he thought this was heavy, too heavy a burden for him. Why, why is she picking me, a, a peasant farmer? Um, but he did it um, and, and found that uh, nothing was asked of him more than what he could do. And that uh, our, you know, it, it took a miracle, but Our Lady uh, worked the, the miracle miracles for him. A uh, flowers growing in winter, in winter. B this beautiful image of herself showing up. Uh, and C um, curing his uncle uh, of uh, what should have been a fatal disease. Um, and uh, many people have come to see uh, his cloak, see this image, and uh, many people have been cured. Miracles continue to happen. Centuries later, when uh, uprisings in Mexico had brought in uh, anti-Catholic uh, government there and, and persecution, um, the, they tried to blow up the, uh, the place. Um, they damaged the altar, and they damaged the basilica, uh, but not even the glass over the, uh, the image was, uh, wasn't even cracked. Um, but uh, that, uh, that image uh, uh, thought to be miraculous continues to be miraculous. And so uh, Juan Diego today sees us up for uh, Our Lady's Feast on Saturday. Um, uh, and hopefully all of us uh, can uh, uh, embrace Juan as embraces humility, um, his meekness of heart, um, but be willing to take on uh, a yoke for our, our loving God, or um, we will find that uh, it really is easy and the burden is light. Let's gather our prayers and bring them before our God. Our Lady of the Americas is all is Mary, uh, 
the queen of heaven, the queen of earth, and the queen of peace. And so uh, we seek uh, her intercession, that peace may come to our world. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the church, uh, especially in the Americas, in gratitude for Our Lady taking an interest in us, uh, uh, working miracles to spread uh, her son's good news, um, and uh, the faith that continues uh, among us and uh, throughout the Americas today, we pray to the Lord. We pray for uh, our own nation, ask that um, God will grace those burdened with governance with his wisdom, uh, that God will protect and watch over all of those charged with our safety. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of, of Richard Lyman. Uh, gratitude for the gift that his life has been. We pray for comfort for his, his wife and his children uh, and uh, com consolation to all those who mourn him. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those afflicted with the, the coronavirus, especially Wes and Ann and Dirk. Um, uh, uh, yes, that uh, uh, this scourge uh, come to an end at some point in the near future. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our students, um, uh, pre-kindergarten through, through high school, but very especially for our high school students as they, um, they have this added challenge of distance learning thrust upon them. Pray for our teachers um, who have had uh, this burden thrust upon them um, and ask that uh, uh, Mary and Jesus, the, uh, the founder and founders of, uh, of Catholic education, watch over uh, all of them and, and help them through this. We pray to the Lord. For your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we come before you bringing you our hopes and desires, knowing that as a loving Father, you will take care of everything we truly need. And so we offer these prayers to you now, those spoken and unspoken to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the fruit of the earth, it is the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of many people, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of Saint Juan Diego. Bestow on the faithful, on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design he formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. Gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you. Drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Richard, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Juan Diego, St. Francis, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. You may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. Let us raise our voices in the prayer given to us by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of St. Juan Diego, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in divine nature. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you to God.